The soil is tough and the work is hard, but farmers here in Yalas, a town on the southeastern coast of Jamaica, known more for the marl and gravel from the banks of the Yalas River, are showing remarkable resilience in the face of the harsh conditions. Even more amazing is the growing interest of young people to farming, historically the domain of older men. Meet 27-year-old Lawrence Lynch, a successful farmer who is applying the knowledge and techniques learnt from the Government of Jamaica Adaptation Fund program to reap a bumper onion crop in the Ministry of Agriculture's Yalas Agropark. It's hard work and um, it will pay off and I'm seeing it pay off in terms of the heel. I will be receiving about 20, 20 some thousand pounds and so I'm excited to do it again and again. By 2017, onion imports to the island is expected to be reduced by over 90%. Lawrence and his colleague farmers in St. Thomas are happy for the GOJ AFP and are proud to play their part in making Jamaica self-sufficient in onion production. So over in Yellow Saga Park, we got two assistants from the GOJ Adapted Fund and Jason, and um, where we got irrigation equipment such as drip and tank, and that assisted us um, and was in terms of the um, 50 mm and, and 40 mm 32, they assist us in taking the water to the farm so that we can add the water to the, water, the, the, the crops on the farm and we are really grateful. In these parts, given to prolonged periods of drought, water is a precious commodity. The GOJ AFP is making it possible for farmers to have a stable water supply system all year round. They're also promoting water user groups a novel way of pooling the financial, technical, material and human resources of a community of farmers to sustain water irrigation of their farms. There's always dynamic interchange and banter in the Yalas Water User Group. The expectation too is that when we facilitate the development of um, like the water users groups and the cooperatives in the farming communities as well where we're contributing are contributing to the development of social capital and so you can't just put it there and leave it so you have to organize have to organize the people so that they among themselves know ensure that the, the access to this resource is sustainable over $250 million has been allocated under Component 2 of the GOJ AFP program to train farmers in climate resilient agricultural methods and land conservation whilst improving their access to water. The key implementers of this component are the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, and the National Irrigation Commission. The program has received the endorsement of government policymakers at the highest levels. We are on the right track to ensure that we can build a sustainable agricultural enterprise in Jamaica to, to help support the growth agenda of the country and to guarantee food security as well. It has been a game changer and we have seen the productivity gains from using drip. So um, the adaptation is twofold. One, it changes the farmer's mindset. Second, it is making a tremendous difference in terms of productivity. Agriculture in Jamaica is mainly rain-fed and the island is also heavily dependent on groundwater, which accounts for an estimated 92% of water supplied to all sectors, much of which is used for irrigation. The Government of Jamaica Adaptation Fund program is introducing modern water harvesting techniques to Jamaican farmers, equipping them with the skills to break the tide of persistent poverty and to renew the land.